All right, so I am back to Pescadero. It's been a while since I've been here. The last few times I was here, it was like gray weather. So this will be really nice. The colors are really beautiful. Let me show you what I'm thinking of. And here's where I'm set up. There's the scene I'm using my Anderson easel and I'm painting on a 14 by 28 inch panel today. And I've lined up the panel so that it's in line with the wind. So hopefully it will not topple my easel. Uh, I will be using liquid as my medium and my usual palette of colors. This is a scene I've painted before, uh, but never with this kind of light. Uh, what I'd like to do is make sure that the shadows along these red rocks here are really luminous um, and get some of those warm reds, you know, make sure that those are visible. Uh, so that's the idea. So there's the basic sketch and you know, I kind of indicated where those shadow shapes are. I am already losing the light. I mean clouds are blowing in literally five minutes after I start. Uh, but that's plein air painting for you. I'm going to keep going and you know I'm taking mental notes of the scene and uh, you know I'm just going to do the best I can. Okay, so there is the rough in. I was working really quickly. The sun has come back out, um, so that's good. But I was worried I was gonna lose the sun, so I was kind of in a panic. Uh, but there is the basic composition. And now I can come in and start getting more accurate with the colors and values. All right, so here's where I am now, and I'm trying to keep the shadows in the rocks really luminous. Uh, try to keep a lot of color in there. Shifts of warm and cool. I was seeing some areas where like the sky was reflected, so I saw blues in there, which is a nice complement to the orange. I want to have the water further in so that I have less of this beach area. So yeah, the water was over here before. I want to bring it into here. So this sort of warm uh, sand by this rock will actually be moved over to here, which is kind of what's going on right now.
So I am gonna leave it here. It's kind of hard to see, so we'll go back to the studio and take a look. All right, so that was a good day's work. Probably worked on it for three hours maybe, which is long for me. My legs are tired. Exhausting. So I'm gonna be framing up a couple paintings for a show at Studio Gallery. Uh, it's a food related show. So I've got this one here. This is a uh, Pacific Ave in San Francisco. And this one is a taqueria at night that's in the mission. A lot of people ask how I mount the painting in the frame. And I use 3M mounting tape. This stuff is super strong. So it's two-sided tape and it's kind of this foam material. I actually finished the frame all the way on the inside here because when I put varathane or polyurethane on this portion, then the tape sticks a lot better. You know, if I just leave this bare wood, yeah, the tape does not stick as well. When I put the painting in, uh, I just eyeball it and try to get even, uh, you know, even spacing. All right, so then I'll take a look at it. And then if it looks good, then I'll press down on the tape. And I'll use wax paper to protect the painting while I apply pressure at the point where the tape is. I'm pretty messy and the back of the painting always has, you know, smudges on it, <laughs> like almost always. But yeah, this rubbing alcohol really does remove it quickly. And as you guys know, I make my panels out of whiteboard. This is basically, you know, whiteboard material. It's masonite, it's been sealed with white paint. It kind of makes for a nice finished back of the painting. I use a fine point Sharpie to write the title, my name and date. All right, for mounting the wire, I measure down one third from the top. And I use pan head screws to mount the wire. All right, so here's what I finished up with. And as I mentioned when I started, I was trying to keep these cliffs here, the shadows illuminated. I didn't want to make them too dark. So it's kind of a tricky balance of, you know, keeping the shadows light enough that they feel luminous, but also dark enough so that you get contrast with the light and then keeping the light dark enough that you can actually get saturation. So it's tricky. It's definitely tricky, but I think uh, this is a decent balance here. Um, I like the motion in the water and also too some of these areas of light green sort of suggest, you know, translucency. This is a composition I've done multiple times. I love painting this particular scene and uh, it's always different because the light is always different. And, you know, and I also, I don't refer to the other paintings. So the, the compositions are slightly different as well. All right, so as usual, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I will put a link down below to the show at Studio Gallery. It's called Delicious. It opens today, Thursday, May 20th, 2021. Um, I've got two paintings in the show, the Taqueria at Night and then Market on Pacific. Uh, so if you want to check out those paintings or you just want to check out the show, like I said, link down below. And then also, if you'd like to see some extra videos and help support the channel, there's a Patreon link down below as well. Other than that, stay creative and I'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.